what it do you to slash patreon today's video i want to talk about the missing children right so um yes i know i said i wasn't going to be doing that many videos on youtube but i'm still learning how patreon works and i got probably about 65 percent of it figured out so um I have one Patreon so far, which is great, and um, trust me, I am aware that um, the timing, at first, I wasn't really thinking about it like that, but yeah, it is, like, I won't say, like, a bad time, but it is, like, a fucked up time to try to convert some of my followers to Patreon when, you know, it's a fucking uh, pandemic or whatever the fuck going on, like, stock market crashing and all that, so I understand if you, you know what I'm saying, if you don't get the money to go to my Patreon, that's totally understandable it's totally understandable and that's totally overstandable like i said i'm still going to be giving you guys content because i'm still going to be building this page too like trust me i'm not going to just throw this shit away i'm still going to be building this page too so you know what i'm saying when you get the chance if you can go to my patreon because patreon is just a better site overall because they want to pay content creators for their content youtube just like to pimp people and take their content and make money for it and don't give the content creator shit you see what i'm saying that's the type of shit that's going on i can't speak for every content creator but i can speak for myself and it's funny because when i uh when i put the video out my patreon is ready like up and ready i shouldn't get no views barely then when i change the title it's not getting views so they don't want you to expose the evils of how youtube do you know so-called truthers that speak the real shit not that fake shit. So, like I said, I already know kind of a fucked up time, and a lot of people need information at this time. I get that. I totally get that. So, guess what? I'm gonna be dropping more videos for y'all. And plus, how Patreon works, you have to drop a video on YouTube and then put it on Patreon. So, I have to drop it on here first anyway. So, I got y'all. So, okay. So, um,. Somebody sent me some powerful, powerful information. Shout out HGX TV. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, they gave me some powerful information. And I'm still doing my research on this specific topic. You know, because um, if you don't know, YouTube took down another one of my videos. It wasn't my video of me talking. But it was a video I re-uploaded of the guy who was in Hunt. <laughs> well, I think it's... Uh, Huntington, California, Huntington Beach, California, or something like that. And um, they were protesting or whatever, you know, speaking the truth. YouTube took it down. You know what I'm saying? Some reptilians, some gay reptilians keep flagging a video or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But other people got the video on their channel, though. You know, it's funny. Just like they won't let me upload that other video when I was talking about the McDonald's, had all the missing kids. They get slaughtered and then they get put back into the McDonald's hamburger meat and the chicken nuggets and all that shit and this is a jewish so-called jewish rabbi coming out and telling you his goddamn self what's fuck going on they will not let me re-upload it see what i'm saying so it's just funny they fucking with my channel they're probably fucking with other people's channel too but they coming at my channel hard though these you know but this this what's gonna happen though you have these miserable satanic people that know their time is up. So they have to do whatever they can to get you out your character, get you out your element. And you know, they love tactics work sometimes, but it's that shit not working no more. People waking up, I say people, not all, but a lot of people are starting to wake up, you know, and a lot of people don't get it. Like, you don't even gotta have a billion dollars in your fucking account. You don't even gotta have a million dollars. Shit, use your motherfucking voice. People don't understand that your voice is way more powerful than your money. Because once people know what the fuck is going on, and let's say they do have the money, and if they was down with the cause to make changes in this world, once you speak it, once you make somebody aware, now they're aware. Now, if you need to put the financial backing behind a particular project or a particular cause or movement, people will know about it because you use your goddamn voice. Now, if you stay silent, how the fuck they gonna know what's going on? You see what I'm saying? So... That's why I was saying. That's why I like to promote my shit. But that's just me personally. So, um, 
Yeah, man, this type of shit that's going on. So my whole thing about the missing children is um, I'm not going to say that a lot of people just turn their head to it because a lot of people is yeah, turn their head to it, the missing children and the pedophilia that goes on in Hollywood. And it don't just go on in Hollywood. This shit goes on in every day neighborhood. But the shit is really prevalent in Hollywood, though. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying everybody in Hollywood partic- participates in this behavior, so don't twist the words. And I'm not saying everybody in these everyday, regular communities participate in this behavior as well. I'm not saying that, but just know that type of behavior does go on everywhere. Some people just blind to it. You know what I'm saying? So, the thing about it is, the people that's blind to it, 